Hello to everyone. We are going to spend a few minutes reminiscing about uh, Tina. She was the organist while I was pastor there, and um, she was quite a character to say the least. Um, she, I think, shocked everybody at the level of her talent. Um, you could pretty much ask Tina to recalibrate a song or put it in a, in a different pitch or whatever. Nothing and phased her. She, yeah, yeah, exactly. She could do it just like that, you know. And uh, she was her own person, you know. Several times we'd try to say, well, Tina, you might want to do this or that in terms of the way she dressed or looked or whatever. And, and uh, nope. Nope, this is the way I am. This is how it's going to be. Well, so. and sometimes I think she tried. She, yeah. I mean, she felt bad if it was something that offended people. Yeah, but and she tried to, uh, she tried to accommodate. But yeah, she was a very colorful individual and very mm -hmm. extremely talented. And like sometimes, such talent carries with it some very individual kinds mm -hmm. of things. When she first mm -hmm. started playing for us, she was also working at another job in Gorman. Uh, which is down, of course, by Fraser Park. And she would drive there every Friday night, come back. And then she would drive there every Saturday night, come back. And then she'd be in church Sunday morning. So she put a lot of miles on that old Cadillac she the had. green <laughs> Cadillac that smelled like cat. Because <laughs> she carried a lot of cats with her. Yes, Tina was and, a cat lady. Uh, she, she had a heart for cats. <laughs> yeah. And she actually had a very good heart. She she so. would not forget any important dates, always send us birthday cards, would even do little gifts here and there. Yep. Which, of course, for Tina was a big thing. She didn't have a whole lot. Yeah. And it wasn't unusual to see Tina walk around in, uh, from one place to another in town uh, with her high heels on and uh, uh, maybe even in the hot sun. And uh, she was just a tough little cookie. She didn't want to ever ask for help. No. And um, like Heike said, there were many times we'd drive along and we'd see her. We'd stop and pick her up and take her to the grocery store or, and, or take her home. Uh, but she wouldn't ask for a ride. She wouldn't call and say, hey, can you give me a ride to the store? She would just She was not dependent. It. She was independent <laughs> and she as could be. she walked a long ways yeah. in those high heels. Yeah. So. And uh, she, uh, yeah, she was, but she had a, such a generous, good, sweet personality as yeah. far as being caring and, and giving and uh, mindful mm -hmm. and responsive. Used to sing, and uh, she would always just do such a wonderful job. And he, with her amazing talent, she was always humble, she very was, humble yeah. about herself. Not, she always no, made whoever she worked with look good. She did. She'd yeah. cover up our mistakes. <laughs> yeah. And I made a lot of them during the service, so. Uh, she came right along she, with yeah, it. She did. She she yeah. she was able to flow with the flow with the punches, as it were. Special special person. I visited her in the nursing home, and I'm um, afraid she didn't recognize me, um, as, <laughs> as, to, as far as who I was. But she kept telling me how good looking I was, so I sat there for quite a while so I could listen to that. <laughs> but a uh, nice, nice person. And uh, we, it's somebody who, who you'll never forget in your life, and someone who you are thankful that God brought them across your path and made them part of your life. And really, her, her gifted talent she used for. Just a, a really good purpose. So That's right. It was really neat. For glorifying God. Yeah. So I hope as you uh, continue to remember her and celebrate her life, that uh, that she'll remain in your hearts forever like she will in ours. I think she stretched the church a lot in yep. there. You know, in what they expected, what we expected mm -hmm. of a person. And, uh, yeah, she was wonderful yep. that way. God bless all of you.